What's poppin' so my feet? It's one of those baby and I'm back with another freaking banger, you dig? So y'all already know what we're doing by the thumbnail and title we'll be getting into today. We'll be getting into today. Today we're gonna be doing a six month baby update because your girl is six months now. She's really close to seven months. Cause February is almost here. Let me stop playing. It's like the 17th. But still it's close. So we're gonna be doing a six month baby update. What I've learned, how it's been, how it's going. Because a lot has changed, a lot is new. And I just wanna talk about it because I, I am one of them parents that like talk about their child, like take pictures of their child, like they got the best baby in the game, you feel me? If, if you don't feel like that, baby, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Tell him. Say, I don't know what to tell you. Can we fire on you? Hey, tell that. <laughs> so, right now, I'm currently feeding her some baby food. I try to hide it because she going to go crazy because I want to give y'all this intro this video. If she see it, she going to be, uh, 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 uh. and I'm sure y'all don't want to hear that. So, as I'm feeding her her baby food, I'm going to give y'all a little update on what's been going on, how the motherhood's been treating me, how baby girl's been. Just give y'all an update on that. Really, because I really didn't talk about it much. And I was like, let me put out these content. Let me make these videos because I'm very excited. Like, I'm super excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to go give me some um, Carmex because my lips look crusty, busty, all that. <sighs> Y'all see that? It's just, baby, I don't even fuck how I look no more. Like, I'm going to do better next month. I'm going to do better next month. Y'all see the way she's looking at me. I'm going to move the camera back a little bit so y'all can see a little more of how she's looking at me. But before we get into this video, make sure you follow me on my social media. It's on screen in the description down below. And also, 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 make sure you comment more video ideas you would like to see from me and baby girl. Because uh, we got the equipment. We got the lights. We ain't got the ideas, like. But yeah, that's what we get into today. It's gonna be a short video, but you know, um, educational purposes. <laughs> but let's get straight to it. First of all, we're just gonna start off with what I have learned since becoming a mom. Y'all, this apple, it must got a little tang 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 to it because she keep making face. And all these questions that I'm about to answer, baby, they're just off the dome that I feel like people would ask. I ain't gonna hold you, I ain't gonna lie. But um, how I feel about being a first-time mom is, I love it. It's fun. It's really just like having your personal friend. I'm somebody who don't have a lot of friends, who really don't go out the house much. I just be with family, so I enjoy every moment of this. Like, it's fun, it's entertaining, watching somebody grow and having somebody like, that depends on you. It gives you that motivation to just keep going. Cause I ain't gonna hold y'all. Years ago, I was just like, I don't even care about women a lot. That's the guy, and it's true. Life is just life in, and I did not care if I was here going, like here, there, going to come. I didn't. That's the guy, and it's true. Like, and I never really sat and just said that out loud in front of no camera or really to anybody. But what I've learned since the whole pregnancy and the whole process is living your truth. Embrace your truth, living your truth, and 
life will be better. Don't. Not necessarily saying I was living in like being fake or anything, but I was living in a fantasy world before. Like I was making something that seemed one way, but in reality, it wasn't. But I can say since my pregnancy, since giving birth, I am. I'm gonna say if anybody likes it, they're hundred percent happy. they be lying. But I am satisfied with where I'm at. I'm happy with where I'm at at the moment. And I feel like it's only up from here. Next question is What does it feel like to be a single mother? So, I'm gonna give y'all details. Yes, I am a single mother. No, I don't get help with other people. Am I okay? Yes. I'm very okay with it. I really don't care to speak on it like that. It just like it is what it is, part of life. And I'm happy. Like she's straight. As long as she's good, I'm good. Like I have this I have a big family. Like it's probably two hundred plus of us. So I'm very loved within my family. I am I feel like the product of my family that is helping me right now is more so of a you be good to people and you will get that same love in return. Because at first I thought people was like taking me for granted and I was just too good and nobody was listening to me, nobody was hearing me. But as I got pregnant, I realized how many people show up and show out for mine and me. It just gave me that reassurance that over the years, everything I did for people, they noticed it. But the single mom life is not really that bad. I love it. I'm a full-time mom and I work a nine to five. So make my coin, come home and be a mom. Next question is, some days, do I feel like giving up? Come on now, we're human. Everybody feels like that these days. But you gotta keep going. No matter what life throws at you, no matter what cards you're dealt, <laughs> just keep going. Next question is, how is baby? How is her development? How is she growing? Baby girl is developing really good. I think she's gonna be tall. I hope she ain't say like my daddy. My dad like six, seven. Baby, that's tall as hell. I hope she's not that tall, but I feel like she's gonna be tall because they said she was uh long. So she, when she was born, she was six pounds eight ounces if i'm not mistaken now she's like she was 13 point something less 13 point it was 13 point something i don't remember but that was in december she goes to the doctor very soon i think she's gonna be 14 something close to 15 so far she did have a cold one time on christmas at that y'all didn't even see that in the christmas video but yeah she was sick during oh my god she's farting <laughs> she's farting shit but she was sick during christmas took her to the doctor they gave her some um oh shit they gave her some benadryl and it really helped a lot. Benadryl, I got a humidifier and one of those manual like 
not sucker things. I just put the batteries in and it sucks the snot out for me. So that's what I used and it helped. And now she's better. But you will get sick when your child gets sick because I got sick and my sickness had made me end up with um, a very bad sinus issue. So I had to go to the doctor for that recently. Speaking of that, I should take my medicine right now. I forgot to take my medicine. It's like almost 20. So I had got with a real bad sinus problem and it had gave me um, a sinus infection. It was hard to sleep. It was just it was horrible. And it had my neck hurting so bad. So now she is, she's not crawling yet, but she is, she's um rolling over. She's learning to like scoot a little bit. She be, she be turning like a clock. Like she learns how to move her body in a circle. It's weird, but that's what she learns. Um, she more so play with toys now. She's more hands on. She more so like she likes eating out the spoon now. She likes to eat out the spoon. She's um eating on her feet a lot now. She's laughing more, smiling. She's a very happy baby. She's majority of the time, she's really in her own world. She doesn't cry much unless she's hungry or sleepy. That's really on two times she cries. She's a very friendly baby, very good baby. Um, Her nighttime routine, she goes to bed like not between 9.30 and 11.30. But most of the time, she sleep before 10.30. But 11.30 is the furthest. So... Yeah, mother has really been amazing. Like, I really like it. And we're halfway there to one. Um, I don't really know what I'm planning for the first birthday, but I got an idea like in my head of what I wanna do, what I should do, a theme. Cause I feel like I'm the type of person, I'm a Virgo. Okay, I have to plan it out. I have to plan early to get what I need done, done. Or I'm not gonna be doing it and also i just noticed her doing that she is teething she has no teeth yet but she's teething i've been giving her these gerber like teething biscuit things they're banana flavor she kind of likes them a lot and i bought the gerber cheetos she don't like them she don't like them at all they say eight months on it but she's six months i give it to her she she's smart <laughs> okay I feel like girls are a little more advanced than boys, so they learn a little faster. She's very much advanced. Um, yeah, so that's really all I can think of, of her six month update. But comment down below some other videos, ideas you would like to, um, for us to do, and also what other questions you have, and I will answer them. Whether you're a new mom or already a mom, and you just just want to know some questions, want to be in our business, <laughs> comment them down below, or you can DM me on Instagram, or you can send us my email. Everything's in the description down below. You can find me on all platforms at Slim Baby. And that's all for this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click that button to be notified. So you know if I have time, your girl posting this thing called what? YouTube. Period. And yeah, like I said, please comment down below and let me know what y'all think about this video and some other video ideas you would like to see from the kids, see from the girl. And until next video, peace. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye bye. You want to wave? Say bye bye. Say bye bye. She don't want to wave at y'all, but bye.